This episode is sponsored by Beer Barn Nigeria. So hi Moses, it's good to have you on this episode of Off the Beach. Thanks for joining us here today. Thank you for inviting me. It's, it's our culture here. I know a lot of people already know who you are, but just for the sake of um, you know, starting up a conversation, can you introduce yourself? Who is Moses Abia? What do you do for a living? How long have you been doing what you do? And basically, what is Moses all about when you talk about the name Moses Abia? Well, I'm a professional footballer from Nigeria and I think few people know me as a BA and also Moses. So I came from Delta State and uh, I'm a footballer and now I'm playing internationally. So that's me. You've had so much um, of uh, a background when it comes to the NPFL and um, we'd like to know all of that from the most smart of course and then up until this point and uh, how have your career been progressive so far because I'd like to tag it as progressive I think it all started from when I was at um, Ikorodu United so I started with the second league the pro league and from there we got promoted and we went to the first league and from the first league, I think I play like a, a season and uh, unfortunately we got relegated and lucky for me, Aqua United saw me and they signed me and um, from there I just took just six months there and uh, lucky I went to, to sign uh, in Norway and uh, started from uh, Lillestrom. So I took four years there and from there and it all got me uh, in Tromso Football Club and uh, it's been amazing yeah. and some challenges as well. So it's not really easy but that's, it's that's, good. That's a perfect story from grass to grace, right? Yeah. <laughs> So we're looking at your professional football career once more. Um, I would say for your kind of profile, which is growing fast, like I started earlier, progressive. Um, I've not seen so much of you in the national team, and um, I'm thinking, is it, is it your play, your current play in the Norwegian league, or is it because you're not, you know, visible enough for you know the NFF to call you in to feature in the Super Rugby sport? Again, what exactly would you do to change that moving forward? Uh, for me, I think. Uh... I just have to put more effort for myself and uh, work hard on uh, and on uh, maybe from the coaches from the NFA or anyone been seeing me and uh, at least they can invite me because we have a lot of players in Nigeria when it comes to footballers and they are all over the world so it's not easy for me to just get into the national team. I have to play my way out. I have to do my best and the whole world to see what I'm doing. So I think if you do that, it will be easy for me. Already, so moving away from your career, so the reason why we're having this conversation, which is matters of the pitch. I mean, you're like you look dressed off the pitch for the first time. I'm seeing you without uh, your jersey. So I mean, I mean, I'm already happy that you're relaxed. But again, let's know um, your lifestyle off the pitch. How do you relax when you're not playing football? How do you spend your holidays? What is your routine like, basically, off football? Uh, for me, I think uh, out the pitch. Um, I'm me and uh, I always I always want to be me. But outside the pitch, I just want to be with family, I just want to be with friends, I just want to go out and have a little fun with friends and family. A little uh, fun. Emphasis on the little. <laughs> okay. And uh, I love watching movies as well, playing games and uh, sometimes I want to still be on my own and read books and stuff like that all right so i'll start off um with this particular question in mind because i want to say congratulations anyways i heard you just nearly got married so i think you welcome on board well i'm not married yes so welcome into the married life <laughs> anyways congratulations on that and so tell us um how is the married life been it's just been a couple of months i guess but how has it been for you how have you been juggling married newly being, being newly wed having a baby and then 
you know your career how do you balance all of that you know just to have your life smooth want to know that Ah, for me, I think um, I can't really tell because uh, I just get married and I'm just into the system, so I can't say much. So for now, I've been seeing things going well and being smooth. You know, marriage, they said it's not really easy. You see a lot of challenges. So I know when the challenge is come, we know how to handle it. So I think uh, with time, I'm going to get used to being a married man and being a father so for now it's amazing it's beautiful so i pray god do well and uh, also i still miss my baby i still miss my wife and i know very soon everything will be fine and we'll be together again oh that's so sweet i i wanted to cry right now so emotional <laughs> wish you all the best moving forward as a married man and with a professional career ahead of you. So again, um, I would just like to know if you were not going to play football, for instance, if you had other skills that you're going to pick up as a, if football doesn't work for me someday, which I don't pray for it not to work, but if football doesn't work for you someday, what other skill are you into? What other talent so that we can look out for it? If it's music now, so that we can prepare to buy your CD later. Just tell us what other skill do you have aside playing football? Okay. Let me start from when I was still still on the street, like struggling to be a professional footballer. Then I used to be be interested in uh, doing art. So that time I was in school and uh, I got, uh, uh, we went to play a tournament in uh, the north and we got uh, picked from the tournament and it was Calabar, this academy in Calabar. So we went there with our teammate. I didn't make it. So I went back home and my mom was so mad at me that I have to stop football. I said, why? She said, I have to stop because uh, she don't think uh, this can go far with me. So she took me to a shop, a work where I can start doing artist work. So I, I said, okay. It's fine if you say you don't want me to play football, then I can start working on this. So if I close from school, I just from there go to work and, and also I can do tailoring as well, design. Oh, but because my, yeah, my mom, she's a fashion designer as well. So oh. I think I have a little experience, but for now I can't, if, if I stop football today, I maybe I can fall back to that Those. of course you should you should you should hey, i mean look at the world right we help, it, we help it that we want to go to a better place and have a better investment and yeah. that's it i'm impressed knowing fully whether you have like a backup plan or you have something you would have done if football didn't work out for you uh, I, I mean i am actually really 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 impressed by that <laughs> So, I mean, you're from the south-south of Nigeria, so we know how the southerners like their food. And we just want to know, um, so that we can know that, uh, we can say that we actually do know who um, most of the is. Who, what is your favorite food when it comes to Nigerian delicacies? Because I'm going to ask you about Nigerian food, right? And you're a Nigerian. So, what is your favorite food? And what is that one thing you miss aside family? Because I know you're going to say family. You said that earlier. But well, aside family, what is that one thing you wish so much about Nigeria that you wish that is that thing could follow you everywhere you go to? <laughs> What's that? Like, Seriously, when it comes to food, I love swallow. I love swallow, like very. Much. Even now, I have some ingredients I can cook. Ah. <laughs> I go to the market and just buy some meat, and uh, I cook. Oh. Then, because I can cook as well, I know how to cook for you myself. Know cook. You know how to cook fish Ah, I know. <laughs> 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 but not fisherman soup, but the soup I love most is uh, banga soup. I don't know if you know oh, it. I know banga soup, I know, of course. I'm a Nigerian. I know banga soup. Okay, yeah. so most it's been actually amazing talking to you about your personal life and your career. But you mentioned so much about your mom, and I just want to know you didn't give us a lot of background regarding your extended family, but I just want to know how. How much your your mom has an impact when it comes to your career? How much did your mom have an impact about you as a person and your family in general? How did it take your you picking a life in football as a, a career? I think uh, 100% 
my family, they support me, my mom, my dad, they don't joke with me as well. And uh, whatever I say to them, whatever I want to discuss with them, they always give me listening ear because they know that, yes, I, I'm the only one that can do something in the family like they're looking up to me and it's not easy as well. I have brothers, I have sisters, they're still in school. So that's it. And um, they really support me and they love love what I do as a footballer and they always pray for me. Anyways, but if someone looks at your kind of play, I can liken your field of play to a lot of people likes of um, Messi, likes of Ronaldo, and you know, back to um, um, or Mokachi and the likes. But I want to know, who do you look up to when it comes to your career? Who are those people that you put up and say, these are the people that actually inspired me, or these are the people that pushed me to be a better person, or this is this is where I want to get to and more when you talk about football? For, for, for me, I've been looking because always i i i love watching uh, people i learn from when sometimes i just go to my laptop i just go to my tv i just try to watch how they play how they do their things and uh, the life of um, Le- Lewandowski, life of oh. Ney and uh, benzema and oh. the rest of it so for me, I just love ben, uh, Lewandowski because he's a good striker and a great striker. Though he's not Messi, Ronaldo that takes world best all the time, but still he's a fantastic player to me and I love him and mm. I love him. That's not a bad choice. Seeing that he's also a great father. I saw what he did with his daughter's hair last time on Instagram. I'm like, yeah. okay, that's actually a good trick. So <laughs> he's a he's a great he's a great player. Let's move into the final segment of the show, which is um, I like to call the quiz segment where I get to test your knowledge of um, football in Africa and um, in Nigeria and because the Afghan is currently on, on our limits the questions to you know the tournament and just to know how well you know your country or your continent right so are you ready and if you don't answer all three questions you're going to sing me a song of my choice or of your choice anyone you decide anyone I decide at the end of the day but if you don't want to try out your singing career here you can just answer the three questions correctly right okay so let's get right into it so question number one is simple sure which Super Eagles player was the top highest goal scorer in the 2019 AFCON and with how many goals? Dion Igalo. So Dion Igalo, but how many goals did he score in that tournament to make him the highest goal scorer? Um, <laughs> Just one more chance. How many goals did he score? Six. So let me give you a six. Let me give you a six. Five goals. So Dion Igalo, you're correct, but you're half Five. correct. Half correct. <laughs> the next question this is also about the current afghan how many right. countries enrolled into the competition to compete for the 33rd african cup of nations in cameroon how many countries total of how many countries 24 all right correct 24 yeah i knew you Nigeria, the Super Eagles of Nigeria got their third Afghan title in what year? I'm not giving you options. Their third and most recent Af- Afghan title in what year? In They've what only gotten year? three Afghan titles. They've only gotten World? three Afghan titles. Yeah, so the third one, the last one that he got is in what year? 2000. Yeah. <laughs> Are you for me right now? Nicole, okay, let me just help oh, you. Out. You feel the Help me, yeah. <laughs> 2013, they got their third African title in 2013. In 2019, we got a bronze medal. Anyways, it has been amazing talking to you. So now that you have paid all my questions, you do me a song that I will just be laughing. And I will not blush because I'll just be laughing. <laughs> so just to me, it's something going at the year. Make you blush. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I uh, okay, okay, I'll, I'll... reggae song for you. 
I sing reggae now. Let me let me get my cigar. <laughs> Just be smoking it. Hi, <laughs> okay. Toys. Don't worry. Again, mm? don't worry. Mm. But it takes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Every little thing is gonna be alright. Definitely. Okay, let me not stress. Don't sing too much again. <laughs> Everything is going to be alright. Thank you so much. <laughs> But I won't leave you without saying your parting words to your fans, your family back here in Nigeria and generally to everybody around the world. What are your parting words from um, you to them? For me, I think everything is in God's end. So you just have to do your best and leave the rest for him. And you need to work hard as well because it pays. Exactly. Hard work pays. That's a good place uh, to Yeah, that's a good place to the conversation.